Good wet and wild West Virginia Tuesday. Oof. We had a winter weather advisory and <clears throat> it has come. It's it's pretty mucky out there. So, I'm going to start today with some definite warm lunch. I'm going to make some polenta in the Instant Pot. And I'm going to do that with chicken stock instead of water. And then I have some green beans I picked up at the farmer's market that have started to go a little spotty. They're still nice and firm, but I need to go ahead and cook them today. And then I have a bone-in pork chop which I'm going to do with some pomegranate molasses and some fresh pomegranate arils. And that will be everything. So the polenta I'm going to do in <clears throat> the Instant Pot. Now, it tells you how to do it on the stove. It gives you variations for that. And it they actually give you slow cooker and multi-cooker instructions. And the, the instructions here say high pressure for 10 minutes and natural release for 15. And yeah, when I looked in the directions in the Chef IQ itself, it says nine minutes high pressure and natural release. So that's their polenta setting. So that's fine. I'm going to steam the green beans and I'm going to do the chop in the air fryer. So I do almost all of my grains in the Instant Pot because A, I don't have to worry about it sticking if I get distracted, which I do very easily and forget to stir it. And something like polenta, when you're making it from dry, you're, you end up, you're supposed to stir it constantly. You don't have to do that when you do that in the pressure cooker. So for polenta, you basically want four parts liquid, whatever your choice of liquid is, to one part polenta. Now, because it's just me, I'm only going to cook a half a cup of polenta, which I will need two cups of liquid for. But most of the time you'll see like four cups of liquid to one cup of polenta. So in here, I have <clears throat> a cup of the concentrate and a cup of water. So that's going to give you my two cups of liquid, and then I have my half cup of polenta. Now I'm going to do this like I do all of my grains pot in pot, which means that instead of putting it directly into the bottom of the Instant Pot where you're likely to get a burn notice, you put a cup of water in the bottom and your little trivet in there, and then you put your oven safe or heat safe bowl on top of the trivet and you cook it in here. That's gonna make cleanup easier and you're not gonna get a burn notice. Now you can use stainless steel or glass, ceramic, whatever would normally go in your oven is fine. So this is just one of my stainless steel mixing bowls. Okay, so the only thing I need to do is add my polenta. I'm going to give that a little stir. Now, polenta, if you get the instant kind, it's going to just be super, super mushy. So this is actually polenta, which is just a corn grit. Um, normal breakfast grits are made out of like a white hominy normally, and this is more your Italian yellow corn grit. Okay, so I'm going to stir that up. I'm going to put this on. I'm going to use the polenta setting in the machine itself, which is nine minutes under pressure and then a natural release. And when this is started to natural release, I'll go ahead and get the chop in the air fryer. Okay, so the polenta is finished. Now I did want to show you when you first take the lid off, it is going to be a little watery, that is normal. What you want to do is give that a stir and let it sit and then it will turn into that really smooth polenta texture. Okay, so since it's a new week, I went out into my outside freezer and pulled the proteins that I'm going to do something with this week. So I have some 
hardwood smoked uncured turkey sausage. And let me see. Oh, I was like, where'd the nutrition information go? So this is 100 calories per two ounces. And I think that says nine grams of protein per two ounces. So I have that. I have a three and a half ounce top round. Nope, actually, I think that's one of the eye round fillets. They were all that size. So everything else I've broken down and put into, uh, I've run through the little food saver. This is a nine ounce piece of ahi tuna. So I'm going to do Sandy. Sandy and I haven't had ahi in a while. And I think what I'm going to do, if you saw my yammy video, I've got these really awesome soy paper wraps and I haven't used them before. So I think that will be really pretty and something fun. So I think I'm going to do some ahi tuna little sushi rolls with this and nine ounces will be plenty for the both of us. Then I have, it doesn't look like I wrote on this one. Ooh. <laughs> um, this is a piece of pork loin. I had bought a big portion and then broke that down into three, I think. So I'll do something with that for Sandy and myself. Then I have one chicken breast. Uh, I don't think I wrote, uh, I haven't written on that one. My guess is that's probably, some of the larger ones were like 11 ounces. This is probably about eight and a half, nine ounces. It's one of the smaller ones. And I took her quite a bit of chicken this past week. So I didn't, I wanted to do something different for her this week. And then the last thing is I have some cod and I want to do the skinny taste fish Florentine with this. That is my favorite recipe from Gina for cod. So that's the plan for this one. So I have a little bit of everything. I've got two fish, the cod and the ahi. And then I have one chicken, one pork, one steak, and the turkey sausage. So that's what I'm pulling out to take out to thaw this week for cooking for Sandy and myself. Hey guys, welcome back for dinner. So I have just over 800 calories left for dinner. So I am going to have some rice cake sticks. Now these are Korean. They're normally, you'd have them with like a spicy sauce. Uh, but I am going to, I found them on their own and that's what they look like. And you just boil them until they're soft. And I got them this way so that I could put whatever sauce I wanted on them. I like the texture. They're really nice. So Kroger had some of the Saffron Road sauces on clearance and I picked up a coconut curry korma sauce. Now, are rice cakes Indian? No. <laughs> is korma normally had on rice cakes? Not at all, but I'm going to try that. Okay. So basically this is a coconut milk, coconut cream, sugar, organic yogurt, organic skim milk, ginger, cornstarch, tomato paste, spices, garlic, turmeric, pepper, things like that. Uh, I'm hoping that this is quite tasty. So this is a quarter of a cup is 70 calories and one gram of protein. Oh, the rice cakes are 220 calories for 100 grams. And they're just rice, salt, ethyl alcohol, and citric acid. Um, protein, four grams. Now the 220 is for half a bag, is 100 grams. So since I have 800 calories left, I'm gonna cook the whole bag, which would be 200 grams. Then I have, this is the 
last part of one bunch of asparagus I do have another bunch and then a yellow crookneck squash I'm just going to steam those so the only thing I need to do is boil these until they're done and I think I've only tried them once before and I think it took about 10 minutes 15 minutes maybe they they you need to cook them a little while and then I'll drain them and add the sauce. So no, no, nothing really cooking wise. I'll steam those and then that will be everything. So I have a couple of hours before I'm going to do dinner, so I'm going to sit down and work on some of this painting commission. I had a bit of a oops yesterday, I guess. These guys were further along, but when you use a spray can and it is cold, um, the paint, when it comes out, it well, I mean, basically, it almost kind of freezes. So that's why you don't normally do what we call priming, which is how they go white. You don't normally do that in cold weather. And I did these guys, and it wasn't that cold. But I noticed yesterday when I started, actually, I might be able to show you on him. Hmm. Not really. I've, I've fixed most of it. But what was happening was the paint wasn't staying where I put it. It was going into areas that it shouldn't be because there was something wrong with the, the primer. And I ended up doing what we call stripping, which is taking the paint off. And basically, I pretty much started again. So I was able... These are the ones that I did last year, and these I need to match to those. So I've got them back to this point. I'm going to work on this tonight. And then while that was drying, I started. So I have one more of him, and I have one more of him. And like you can see, his hair is very dark blue, and that's because the under color for his hair is that dark blue and the same with him he has the really dark green underneath so this is what's uh, called a base color and then i'll build the highlights up for that so basically this is like color by numbers i'm looking at what i did before and i'm putting that same sort of base color in the right places so I need to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of his base color on. So he has like a purple armor and I need to finish the green. Um, I the It was a little bit, it's quite fine work and my hands were starting to shake. And so I thought I'll wait until today to work on that. And then with him, he has... Uh, this is purple on him, the same purple on the other one, and so I need to get some of that in there. I need to get the handles on the weapons and everything done. So I'm just going to work on this for right now, and then these will be ready to dry while I'm cooking dinner, and then I'll kind of get on to the next stage. Tuesday recap. So both meals today were really, really good. <clears throat> I actually really enjoyed both of them. The pomegranate molasses, if you haven't tried it, it's uh, tart and sweet and I just, I really like it. And the polenta came out very well. So that was good. And then for dinner, the korma sauce was good. The rice cakes, I ended up cooking for 10 minutes. I, I was thinking it was 15, but at 10, they were done. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the asparagus and squash, I just did in the Good Cooks steamer in the microwave. So that was really good. I had a little juice pack to take my meds with. 
and I did my arm exercises uh, and some painting. I did not do a walk or anything today. So I am 79 calories under which is fine. I was 180 over yesterday, but remember I'm doing a weekly target, so that's, it's fine. Uh, my protein was low today, and because I decided to have the rice cake sticks, it did put my carbs over. My fats were quite low today. I actually took an avocado out to, uh, to come up. I, I keep them in the fridge to slow the ripening, but I took one out today because I'm going to have that to increase my healthy fats tomorrow. And then, yeah, my steps I knew <clears throat> weren't that much because I was doing some painting today and it is super cold outside. So that is that. There's nothing really going on tomorrow. I have to go back into town on Thursday. But other than that, tomorrow will probably be very similar to today. No idea what I'm going to get up to eating wise, but uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow.